close this morning with uh, the words of life for those who may not have life. We bow our head and close our eyes because the gospel message is about you and God. It's not about you and me or you and the person next to you. But um, it, it is uh, related to us in that we love you and want you to have it. We want you to have eternal life. And uh, the love of Christ shed abroad in our hearts works this way. We tell you the truth and we pray that it will set you free if you'll believe it. We know you, if you believe it, it will set you free. Pray that you'll receive it. We don't uh, try to force feed anything, but we do want you to know that because we love you, we're required to say that God loved the world, and including you this way, he gave his only begotten son. But whoever believes in him will never perish, but have everlasting life. We want you to have everlasting life. It's the greatest blessing that anyone could ever give you, and we want you to have it. How do you receive eternal life? Believe. Believe, and you will have life. These have been written that you would know that you have life. If you have the Son, you have life. If you don't have the Son, you don't have life. The wrath of God abides on you. We who have been saved can say, for by grace we've been saved through faith, and that not of ourselves. It's a gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one should boast. We don't boast in our works. We didn't do anything to be saved. We received what Christ had done for us. The gospel message is that God took on flesh to die in your place on the cross, for God cannot die, but man cannot save himself. So the God-man took on flesh and died for all of your sins. And simply trusting in him, receiving him as your Savior by belief, by faith, is the moment, is the, is the moment of eternal life forevermore for you. You could say, uh, you could pray it this way, Heavenly Father, I receive your Son by faith. I'm trusting in him that he died in my place so that I could have eternal life because he paid for my sins. That is the moment of eternal life when you believe that. You don't, you're not saved because you pray it. You're saved because God has secured this and requires you to believe. Our Father, we thank you for eternal life we have in your Son. We ask that we would think these thoughts about our responsibilities and gender roles that would be enriched and equipped to communicate these things to those who have absolutely no understanding of them around us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.